Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Hear that chirp? Okay, there's 12 smoke detectors in this building. One of them, the battery's going low on. That's a chirp. Somebody mentioned in a video the other day. The problem is, these are 16 foot ceilings. And that one is right there, this chirping. And at some point over the summer, we lost the one and only ladder we have. That's why it hasn't changed. So I do apologize for those of you that are getting annoyed with the chirping. Why am I in the shop on a Saturday morning? When I'm barely awake. Well, today, this is going bye-bye. Today, this is going bye-bye. So, I mentioned in the last video when I did the mower lineup for this year, um, I have a good friend of mine, Brandon is his name, Brandon's Lawn Care, and he's out of Indiana, and he wants that ZK bad. Uh, the reason being is he doesn't do very much residential anymore, he does a lot of large acreage commercial, and he needs a 72 inch mower and i said well this mower will cut a lot of grass really fast so and like i mentioned you guys before it's just impractical for us now so uh one thing that had to be done was i told you guys i had no motor on this shoot blocker right there was no motor on there and um i was waiting for the new ones to come in but they just shipped yesterday so they're not going to be in for a little bit so max was here this morning he had to rotate tires on his car and he pulled the brand new one off of there put it on here for me so now this works as it should shoots up shoots down shoots up it works as it should so what's the deal that i'm doing well let me tell you Brandon has a Skag V-Ride 1, which you guys know we've had in the past, but there's, they changed it when they were doing the V-Ride 1, and a couple of years are different. Not too different, but some things are a little different on them. His is the newer version of the one I had before they switched to the V-Ride 2. So I'm trading that. It's got like 800 hours on it. He's the original owner from new, um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And it's a 52-inch deck, so I'm actually trading him the ZK for that. Um, he's definitely getting more mower than I am. <laughs> um, he's definitely, uh, the ZK has like 2,500 hours on it or something like that, but it has a brand new engine. It's all kinds of brand new parts, brand new tires, all kinds of brand new stuff. So, um, even with high hours on it, it still has tons of life left in it. So, um, he's, I think he's making out on the deal if you want to put a number on it, but he's getting exactly what he wants and I'm getting exactly what I want and need. So... Um, I'm perfectly fine with it. The Ferris, he is buying off me because he wants that and it's a backup mower for us. We never use it. So um, I'm going to pull it out and one of the tires loses air every once in a while. So I'm going to fill that tire up, um, make sure the power chute works, make sure it starts up, runs, everything's good before I let him take it because I'm not going to let him take a machine that has stuff wrong with it. So, um, but that's what we're doing and he texted me a little while ago and he said that he'll be here. Well, I got about an hour and a half before he's going to be here. So um, I got to get that thing out, make sure it's up and running. And I will bring you guys back probably when Brandon gets here. Most of you guys will recognize him as soon as you see him in this video. Um, but that's where we're at. The little mini heat shield over top the muffler is popped on the one side, so it rattles. So it's got a rattle noise in the back. Brandon will have to fix that. That drives me crazy. But here she is in all her glory. Power shoot down, power shoot up. A little bent up, but nothing that can't be fixed easily. Got the new suspension seat on there. That's probably the most expensive part of this mower. About 52 inch deck. It's the IS700Z, I believe is what it is. But that tire took air, no problem. Drove it out here, it's been running for about five minutes. It ain't been ran since probably September. So September, October, November, December, January, February. Today's the second day of March, so almost seven months. But I choked it, cranked it two or three times, she fired right up. And drove it around in the shop for a minute. And then when it was uh, getting 
getting too dusty in there. I drove it out here. It's been sitting here for about five minutes. Runs like a charm. Always been a good running mower. Thing has always served us well and done everything we needed to do. But we don't use it. It's a backup, and Brandon needs a mower like this. So I said, well, since you're driving all the way here from Indiana anyway, let's make a deal. So now that sucker's going in. Isn't that funny if you think about it? How mowers start in one place and then they're in a completely different state. But that's what's happening with his V-Ride coming here and the ZK and the Ferris going there. So now that uh, V-Ride's going to be a New York mower and the Ferris and the ZK are going to be Indiana mowers. But this and the ZK are ready to go. Don't have to do nothing to them. That's what happens when you take care of stuff all the time. You don't have to do anything major to them when it's time for them to go because you've been taking care of them all along. Mm -hmm. And I know Brandon well enough. I know how he takes care of his stuff, so I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to have any issues with this mower from him. At least I hope not because we just uh, we just signed on all of our apartment complexes again for this year. <laughs> so, one thing Brandon wants is he wanted to make sure there were working power shoots on both mowers, which there are. And he has another ZK, and he wants a power chute for that. So this is what I'm going to do for him. So when I got the power chute for that ZK, they sent me a spare door. But Alex said, you know, it was a different color. He said, but it's the same size for that one. So, you know, here you go if you need a spare door. So I have that spare door. I also have all kinds of spare parts. There's a brand new foot pedal and wiring harness still in the box. So I'm going to give him that and that, and then all he needs is a motor. He can either get it from PowerShoot, or if you go on PowerShoot's website, they give you the actual part number for that motor. All it is is an old window motor for inside a door and like older Chevy Caprices, things like that. So if you go to PowerShoot's website, they actually list the part numbers for that motor if you go to a Napa an AutoZone or an O'Reilly's, I believe, are the three. But it gives you the part number. So you can walk right in and say, hey, I need this. I've done that before, but I needed one in a hurry. Couldn't wait for Alex to send me one. I think they're like 22 bucks, maybe 26 bucks. But either way, so he's got the most important parts right there. He's got the door, and he has the wiring harness with the foot pedal. And I have toggle switch ones, too, if he wants one on, but I think he probably prefers the foot pedal. Um, so I'm going to give those to him so he can put them on his other ZK and all I have to do is get a motor. So, but you know, some things are not cheap by any means. So instead of him buying one, he can just uh, do that. And now he'll have three machines with power shoot. And I think once he does, he'll be addicted to it. Um, I can't remember the name of the shoot that's on the V-Ride one he's bringing me. It's, uh, you have the foot pedal, but it's the cable. I used to have one way back when, before I switched everything to power shoot, but that's what's on it now. Um, I'll probably leave that on there for right now, but I will, probably end up changing that to a power chute just to keep everything the same um, but now he'll have all of those and he'll be good to go that chirping's driving me crazy now too we gotta find a ladder in here somewhere and get billy up there and fix that damn thing we all know i don't even like being this tall much less but i'll climb a ladder to go up there but either way I don't know what happened to our ladder. My brother took it and used it for a job last year, brought it back. I know he brought it back. I watched him do it in my cameras. And uh, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it came in here. We ripped this whole place apart. Can't find it. I don't know if it went, uh, if it got left outside and somebody stole it. I don't know. Oh, look at that. See that bar thing? That's the safety bar that goes to the Ferris because we always take them off. But I might as well pull that out so Brandon can take that too. Because what the hell am I going to do with it? He probably won't even put it on there, I'm sure. But it says if he wants it. I'm hungry. It was a late night. I feel like I say that a lot. Lime cucumber Gatorade. It's my favorite. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Only tastes good when it's cold though. Some Gatorades you can drink when they're not so cold. Not this one, it's disgusting. Strawberry apricot Red Bull. Oh boy. I can already hear myself getting fatter. But this is gonna be so good. 
it's the roll, obviously. Hash brown, bacon, two layers of egg, sausage, and cheese. It's going to be so good. But Invisalign or... As my girlfriend and Billy call it, I'm taking out my dentures. Damn kids. Alright, I'm gonna eat. What time is it? Brandon should be here with the next 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna eat. Go over those mowers one more time. Make sure they're good to go. And everything's solid on them. And then, uh... We'll be back. We'll be back when Brandon gets here. And then I'll, I'll film everything. And you guys will see what's coming to replace what I have over there. Stay with me. I'll fill you in after the fact. But this might be a new toy. Those aren't Indiana plates. So we will continue this in the morning. Brandon is leaving, left his trailer outside, and we're going to go out to dinner in a little bit, and they're staying overnight, and then they're leaving in the morning to head back to Indiana, and then that's when he'll take the Ferris and the ZK. And I also gave him a bunch of other stuff too. But anyway, this is what I traded him for. This is a 52 Skag V-Ride 1. This is the last year that the V-Ride 1 was made. So there, it's a little different than my V-Ride 1 I had before. Still a 52 inch deck. Um, Brandon's the original owner. He bought it brand new. Um, just stuff like this, like the fenders are different than mine was. Um, the handle has to be held in like the grandstand and the Xmark Vantage is a safety. I'll take care of that. The platform is double the size, at least, than my platform was. It's way wider and comes out way further, and the whole thing flips up. Um, just a part of mine flipped up, and it was way smaller, so that's different. The gas tank's bigger. Um, he left his grass flap on here. We'll see what happens with that. It has a Kawasaki FX 730V, 23 and a half horse. Um, I've had many of those. Um, actually, I have one right up there, too. Um, but uh but yeah so this is what i trade him for because this is way more practical for my needs so i traded him actually the zk for this and he's buying that so i'll bring you guys back tomorrow um in the morning when he comes to pick it up and i'll get him on camera and then we will uh we'll i'll finish making this video but right now I got a turkey I have to go brine so I can smoke it tomorrow. So I got to go. Bye. Okay, this is day two of this video. So we went out to dinner with Brandon and his buddy Randy and Randy's girl um, last night. And then this morning, we all just went out to breakfast. Now we're back at the shop and time for things to go. So now we got to load these up. I'm convincing them. I did convince them to take this Orion aerator. So finally, we're going to get stuff off that. That's going to get out of here. And I gave him some green touch racks I had sitting around that I'm not using that he would like, so he's taking those as well. But we'll get with Brandon in a minute. We're going to get this stuff loaded up. Look at that sucker's running after all this time. Jump pack on, a little bit of ether fired right up. Whole trailer loaded right up. Okay, so everybody remembers Brandon. Brandon's <laughs> running away from the camera. That's what Brandon does. Yeah. But everybody remembers Brandon. This is Randy. Brandon's buddy Randy. <laughs> but we got Brandon and Randy all loaded up. This is Randy's new toy. We don't know what he's going to do with that, but I'm sure I'll get a picture someday down the road. And he is loaded up with the Ferris, the ZK, the Aerator, and then a bunch of goodies right there. And that's what happens when you trade mowers across states. Because Brandon wanted this. But we made sure we left a nice Kanye sticker on there for him. On the side that Billy put on there a year ago. But these mowers will now be in Indiana. Serving him for what he needs. And I will be running another skag. Time for me. I've been flying from 
I know, and I'll admit too that that Ford is pretty badass. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that Ford. But those suckers are loaded down and ready to go. See you later, boys. They made me a lot of dough yeah. at one time, but now they got to go to someone else. And he had 20 pounds of air in each tire. As soon as we <laughs> loaded it up, them things went right down. I'm like, we need to put some air in these tires. From London to Simon, I've been